Hello guys, so today I will be talking about how to install K3S on your local machine. So K3S is a lightweight Kubernetes distribution and it comes very handy when you're especially testing out things on your local machine because you can run multiple Kubernetes nodes uh, just on your local machine using K3S. So K3S distribution is provided by Rancher and here's the website. Uh, so if you look at the architecture of K3S, so using K3S, we could install a server node, which has the control plane, like which has uh, stuff like API server or HCD and all, like those components of uh, Kubernetes. And the agents contain kubelets and kube proxies. And these are the nodes that primarily run uh, your pods and all. So I would be just taking this example. So I'll install like one server node and multiple uh, agent nodes. So K3D is a utility that makes it very easy to install K3S and uh, to install K3D, like you could use one of these commands, wget or curl. So I'll just use this to install K3D. So we'll just paste the curl command. So I have, I already have uh, the K3D installed. So it says that it is already installed, which is the latest. But in your case, it this curl command or wget command, or you could also use uh, homebrew to install k3d. So to create a new Kubernetes cluster, all you have to do is k3d, and then you say cluster. So you get the available commands. Right? You you use k3d, and then the command. So I would use k3d cluster create, and the name of my cluster would be cluster, and then I say it should have one server node and three agent nodes. So it just takes a few seconds to just get started and create and creating the cluster. So it says like created the nodes, right? And then it is starting the nodes. And uh, to switch kubeconfig, I could just use uh, this command. So it has switched to the new context. And now when I say kubectl dot get nodes, so it lists on all the nodes that were created. So this was the server node, right, which has the control plane and the master, the last one. And then the other three are the agent nodes, which got created. So let's try to just deploy a pod to just make sure everything is running there. By the way, if you're liking the video so far, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it motivates me a lot. So here I have a deployment file with me, like Kubernetes uh, descriptor. So what I'm doing is uh, I create a deployment and it has five replicas and the container like the in, in the pod, uh, the container image which I use is Nginx and then I just create a service. So right now if we just see a kubectl get all, so it says uh, there's just one single service that is running which is the default Kubernetes service. So if I say kubectl apply minus f and this is 0, 01 for definition file. So it says uh, the deployment also created and also this uh, the service is created. So now if I say get all, so we could see the different uh, uh, pods and you see here, like a couple of them are running and three were getting created. And now if I say get pod and minus O wide, so we could see that uh, the pods are randomly distributed on each of the nodes, right? And then, uh, couple of them like the ips and all are assigned like for others ip would be assigned but a couple of them are already created and then a uh, few are in the process of getting up and running so this is how easy it is to create uh, a cluster using k3s and using multiple nodes and then running like everything like the different pods and services and all on your local so if you like the full video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it motivates me a lot to make more, more such videos.